Hey, my name is Drew, founder of Husband Material, where I help men outgrow porn. Today, we are talking about why porn is an abusive teacher. It's actually a sexual educator, and for some of us, the primary sexual educator that we grew up with. Last week, we talked about sexual discipleship, and I believe that we have all been sexually discipled by porn. We are being discipled all the time by the culture around us, by the churches we go to, by the podcasts we listen to, by the friends we talk with, and by the sexual imagery and content that we consume. Porn has sexually discipled us in an abusive way. And now we have to unlearn it. That's part of why freedom from porn is so difficult. It's harder than just learning something because we have to unlearn the ways that we've already been discipled since we were little boys. What do I mean when I say that porn is a sexual abuser? Well, just imagine this. There's a little boy who goes to school every day and hates every minute of it. He never says a word to anyone, never looks anyone in the eyes. He's just getting through it until he can go home. And when he goes home, he has a private tutor, someone who's there and who pays special attention to him. This private tutor seems a little bit weird and strange and doesn't feel completely safe, but the boy is so thirsty for something different than his mundane and mind-numbing existence that the private tutor becomes his special secret friend. They spend more and more time together and eventually the teacher shares secrets with him and asks for special favors. And even though it doesn't feel right, the little boy learns to love this teacher. Even though there's a part of him that doesn't like it, he becomes so attached that he actually prefers the private tutor to his parents, to everyone else in his life. And that is when the abusive teacher's work is complete. This is what pornography does to little boys who get exposed to it and who become attached to it. Pornography is a sexual abuser that attunes to our deepest desires. It taps into our aches and our longings and then turns them against us and exploits us. And it's so easy for porn to do that, especially these days, because of the five A's of pornography. It is available, affordable, even free. It's anonymous. It's addictive. And the part that we don't often talk about is that it is abusive. And abuse always begins with abandonment. In part of my process that I take men through, one of the questions I asked is, how were you abandoned? How were you enmeshed? And how were you abused? Physically, emotionally, spiritually, and sexually. And I have never had a single client say that he was not sexually abandoned. Every single one of us that I've met so far has been abandoned in the area of our sexuality and being sexually abandoned is the first step to being sexually abused. We were undereducated. It was not talked about. It was not safe. It was not a place where we had support and guidance and community and resources that we desperately needed. And that set the stage for this private tutor, this teacher who could show us secrets and ask us special favors and hook us into a $100 billion industry of sexual exploitation. <sighs> when we were sexually abandoned by our parents, that was the beginning of what set us up to be sexually abused by pornography. We have an attachment to porn that we should have had with real human beings who are connected and consistent and safe and able to help us navigate our desires in a healthy way. And we didn't, but porn 
was a place where we saw the deepest longings of our heart expressed in a way, however distorted and twisted. And it hooked us like an abuser. And that is why outgrowing porn is so messy. It's not like breaking um, a typical habit. It's more like breaking up with an abusive partner. I love the way Andrew Bauman puts it in his book, The Psychology of Porn. Giving up pornography is not like learning to eat less chocolate or merely going to the gym more often. It's more like betraying a lover to whom you have committed your entire adolescent and adult life. Not only a lover who you have been committed to, but a lover who has been even more loyal to you. Porn has always been there for you when no one else was. She soothed and rocked you when you were fearful. She held you when you were lonely, brought you relief when you were heartbroken. Porn has been so good to you. You feel indebted to her for how she has rescued you. The last thing you want is to leave such a sweet refuge and such a blameless lover. Do you feel the dilemma? This is why freedom from porn means, first, unlearning the abusive attachment. Because you know what? Porn did offer us a lot of goodness mixed with evil. How can we relearn love? Good without evil, in real life, in our sexuality. That is the journey we are all on. And it starts with first identifying what pornography has taught us. So what does porn teach? I like the way Gail Dines puts it. She is the author of a book called Pornland. And she says that there are two core messages of pornography. And I must warn you, I'm about to use a little bit of coarse language because she uses it and it really gets her point across. And I feel like it expresses the violence and the abusiveness of pornography in a way that resonates. She says the core message that porn teaches men is fuck you. Fuck you. It's dehumanizing, it's objectifying, and it's exploiting. It's teaching us to have this fuck you posture and attitude. And the core message that porn teaches women and men, that I would add, is fuck me. Fuck me. Self-contempt. I deserve this. So, in a porn video, the core message of fuck you and fuck me is what I see as the most destructive and the most effective lesson that it has ever taught us. And everything that you can say about uh, what porn has taught and all of the effects it has had comes down to those two things, at least in my opinion. Whether you're watching men with men or men with women or women with women or children or any variety of porn, those core dynamics are there. I wonder if you were to make a list of what porn has taught you, what would be on that list? What it's taught you about sex and how it should be or how it could be. What has porn taught you about life and how it's supposed to work? What has porn taught you about yourself? What has porn taught you about other people? Make a list. This is something that we are going to be doing in the husband material community this week. So I would encourage you to actually get out a piece of paper and write down a list of everything porn has taught you. And in contrast to that exploitive, evil message. Here at Husband Material, I teach the exact opposite. And I end every episode by saying, you are God's beloved son. In you, he is well pleased. May the Lord bless you. It's the opposite of the message of porn. That you are worthy. That you are loved. That you are human. You are God's beloved son. In you, he is well pleased. 
and the men who arouse you or the women who arouse you are God's beloved sons and daughters too. And they deserve to be treated far better. This is the posture that we can have toward ourselves of love. Instead of what porn teaches, we can embrace a posture of, I love you and I love me. I'm not going to treat you with any less kindness or respect than I would have for my own son or daughter. I'm not going to treat myself with anything less than the kindness and respect that I know that God has toward me. My friends, we are God's beloved sons. In us, he is well pleased. And we need to be taught that. We need to learn that a thousand times over again. Because we've already learned the opposite 10,000 times. And we need to unlearn that and replace it with the redemptive message and the true identity that we've had all along. The Husband Material Podcast is here to sexually re-educate us, to be a resource for men, to be a replacement teacher far better than porn, helping you outgrow your attachment to porn once and for all. And if you're ready to take the next step toward breaking up with that abusive sexual educator, that is pornography, then I want to invite you to join the husband material community. Just like porn, it's free. It's online. It protects your privacy and it's available. But unlike porn, it's not addictive and it's certainly not abusive. There is goodness without evil. Yes, there is sin. There is struggle in our community, but we are protecting it from evil. Yes, there is darkness, but there's light and we're bringing the darkness into the light together. Yes, we deal with self-contempt and self-hatred. And also, we're relating to each other with curiosity and compassion and we are unlearning those attitudes. We're learning, instead of the core message of porn, we are learning how to love ourselves and one another with the very love of God. And that is why in this community, we will always remind you that you are God's beloved son. In you, he's well pleased. And if you've been in the community for a while and you're just kind of sitting on the sidelines watching other people comment and not really playing an active role, then I challenge you to speak up. Share your list of what porn has taught you and what you want to learn instead. And always remember, my friend, you are God's beloved son. And in you, he is well pleased.